a busy man in Washington, but taking a couple minutes to spend with us today, Senator Rob Portman, we thank you very much for your time. Thank and you, you're Sean. busy because not only are you on the super committee when it came to debt, we'll get to that in a minute here, but let's talk about taxes. We have the payroll tax cut coming up here at the end of the year. What's your gut feeling on what's going to happen in Washington? My gut is it will be extended, but it will be paid for, and that's what I support. Right. You know, I don't think we should be raising taxes on anybody right now, particularly not the payroll tax, but we've got to pay for it. Right. We've got record deficits. We've got a debt of $15 trillion. So some people said expand it, go ahead and extend it without paying for it. I right. think that's bad policy. So what, what would be your policy for paying for it then? Well, I've proposed three things. Uh, number one is more means testing for some of these important programs like uh, unemployment insurance, uh, mm -hmm. even food stamps, believe it or not, do okay. some more means testing so that wealthier people aren't, aren't receiving it. Okay. Uh, but also Medicare, so Medicare benefits uh, going to wealthy individuals. Um, some of them come to me and say, you know, the Warren Buffett types, you know, we don't, we don't need this. Well, fine. Uh, if they don't need it, we shouldn't be giving it to them or right. we should make them pay more. Second is a, fr a pay freeze on federal workers. Okay. Uh, that's something that President Obama put in place a year ago. Mm -hmm. It's expiring. Uh, he thought it was a good idea then. I think it's still a good idea. It would also apply to Congress, by the way, which I think is a good idea. Okay. Uh, because, look, the private sector has had to tighten their belts, and federal employees' salaries have been relatively higher compared to private sector salaries. Mm -hmm. And then third, there's some ways to get at, you know, waste, fraud, abuse in the federal government and spending. Mm -hmm. And in this so-called super committee I was on, the Deficit right. Reduction Committee, we identified a bunch of areas where you can save money in the annually appropriated spending uh, in ways that I think you know, we should be able to agree on a bipartisan way. What do you think about the Democrats' talk that it will just decimate the middle class if this thing is not a lot, if this thing does in fact expire? So we can just put it on the people that make more money because they can they can pay that. They have the money, they can pay it. What is your response to that argument? Well, first of all, I agree we shouldn't be raising it, but they also want to expand it to mm -hmm. make it bigger. That to me is a concern because this money basically comes out of the Social Security Trust Fund. In other words, there's another IOU placed in the trust fund. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think we ought to keep it as it is and phase it out, frankly. It's not good policy to keep that in place for too long because it's payroll taxes. It should be going into Social Security. Okay. So I don't think we should increase it. Second, in terms of how to pay for it, you're right. A lot of Democrats are promoting higher taxes on people who make over a certain income right. to pay for it. Uh, the problem with that, obviously, is that a lot of those are businesses. Right. In Ohio and around the country, most businesses are organized as individuals. They pay their taxes as individuals. Mm -hmm. I was just with a bunch of economic development folks in the Toledo area, and a bunch of them were so-called subchapter S or pass-through companies that pay their taxes as individuals. You don't right. want to tax them right now. Sure. So it's hard to tax just the folks, uh, you know, Warren Buffett's the example again right. that they yeah. use, without, without looping in a lot of small businesses. So that's my concern. There are other ways to do it, though. We can pay for it through these other ways I talked about, including cutting the benefits for wealthy people. That, to me, makes more sense than raising taxes on business. What are, what are your thoughts? Uh, I heard Senator McConnell talk about the pipeline plan, including that in it, and maybe working in a way where that would be included in it. Democrats get the extension and then the pipeline project. What are your thoughts on the pipeline? Well, I, I support having the pipeline come down from Canada. The alternative, by the way, is that the Chinese are going to take all that oil that comes from Canada out of the tar sands. And what we're talking about is a pipeline that goes down to the U.S. refineries mm -hmm. so that we can take advantage of that oil. And we will burn it more cleanly, by the way, also, okay. uh, as compared to the, what the Chinese would do. So I support the pipeline. Look, if it could be part of this, that would be good policy. The president has said that he's not going to make a decision about the pipeline. He's going to put it off until after the election. Well, that means, you know, tens of thousands of jobs sure. will not right. uh, be able to be created. And Maybe oil prices, of thousands and oil prices will be go higher. Up. So we had to go ahead and approve the thing. It's gone through all the environmental uh, reviews. Uh, they've figured out how to take it down to the refineries in the Gulf in an environmentally safe way, and uh, you know they've dealt with a lot of the issues. Mm -hmm. So I'm for having the pipeline okay. go into effect. Uh, in the little bit of time I have left, you were on the debt super committee, mm -hmm. didn't come up with a compromise that all sides would agree with that was coming up with the trillion dollar cuts that the president was looking for. Mm -hmm. In your opinion then, was the committee a failure? Well, I think we failed to do our job. Uh, it's true that we're still going to cut $1.2 mm -hmm. So some have said the committee didn't fail because there still will be the cuts because right. under the way it was set up, there was a sequester, as they call it, a kick in. Right. Yeah, it was across the board cuts. And, and look, some of that we need to do. Mm -hmm. I think it's too deep on the military side, frankly. And I think it will really endanger our national defense. So does the Secretary of Defense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we, I think we should keep those cuts in place. But what this committee could have done, in my view, was clean up the tax code, reform taxes, mm -hmm. which would have resulted in more revenue coming into the government, a lot of it through growth, because right. the tax code reform is believed to be great pro-growth policy across the board. 
uh, by all kinds of economists. Right. And second, we could have done something to help preserve and strengthen these entitlement programs. Again, very important programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, mm -hmm. but are otherwise heading toward insolvency and will, over time, bankrupt the country if we don't deal with them. Those were the big things that I wanted to do in that committee process. We got close a couple times, yeah. uh, but frankly, really politically sensitive issues, both of them. And in the climate right now in Washington, I think the super committee, so-called, kind of reflected where the yeah. Congress is and, to a large extent, where the American people are. Yeah, we'll see if it cleans up. Senator, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate Great it today. Job. Best Have of a nice luck holiday, when you head buddy. back to Washington. That's your talk back.